Many are predicting that the worst is yet to come, which is unfortunate, said one person here. Until now, they've enjoyed the reputation of being the nation's icebox. Watched a burglar in his home this morning by webcam. As a journalist of over 25 years, stories are what make my world turn. Reporting live from the Dallas Newsroom tonight, Jeff Crilly, Fox 4 News. But in 2008, I took the jump from my familiar life and started a PR firm from my home. We're talking about anyone with a camcorder like the one I'm using becomes a television network. We started slowly growing the company and we now have over a hundred clients and we've branched into the world of live digital broadcasting. I now own eight different TV studios and have a huge team. And the stories that I now get to share are sometimes the most important of my life. Life has a funny way of coming around full circle. This is The Jeff Crilly Show. Welcome to my show. You know, this is one of those crazy times in America where you have one out of 10 people out of work, which means there's some great talent just waiting to be hired. To talk about that, Lisa Harris with Thorn Network is my guest today. Lisa, thanks for being on the show. Absolutely. Thanks so much for having me, Jeff. Well, this has got to be a weird time for you uh, as, a, as a recruiter and a business development uh, officer with this company. Uh, you're working from home, too. Absolutely. Our entire team is working 100% remote and has been since March 16th. Wow. And I was on your Facebook page and uh, Instagram and you have such a fun company. Uh, we're going to run some pictures of, of, of your employees uh, and your colleagues there. You've been there for 11 years. That's a long time. Yes, we have a great group, great leadership, a great team. We uh, really function under the work hard, play hard mentality. We all love giving back to the community. Um, we're still having weekly happy hours, which I love. Every Thursday, we were playing games last week, having a, a few beverages together. So it's a, it's a great thorn. We're like the thorn family. It's just an awesome group. Wow, that's wonderful. But mm -hmm. uh, you know, for for extroverts, this is painful. I, you know, we get energy from being around people. Has that been tough on your team? Um, absolutely. In fact, uh, a few of us were texting last night just saying, I, I miss y'all. Like seeing you like this is one thing, but I miss that interaction. Tell me what kind of industries you guys like to work with. Uh, yeah. I mean, we work across all industries, everything from manufacturing to higher education, financial services and banking, home building, um, transportation and logistics, you name it. We probably have at least one client in the industry. Well, I know one reason why uh, great recruiting firm, uh, firms are successful like yours is they really custom the search to the, the client. Um, and it's not just uh, we're going to grab a bunch of people and hope one of them works out because you don't end up having a long-term relationship with a client by doing that, do you? No, not at all. And, and our whole model is about relationships, relationships with our clients, relationships with our candidates. I mean, I'm I'm Facebook friends with a lot of our clients. So it just goes to show how close we get um, beyond the working relationship. It's awesome. What does it feel like when the client comes back to you and says, oh my goodness, we, we cannot thank you enough for this employee. This person is a rock star. What does that feel like? Oh, it's a, it's a great feeling. I actually, um, I get, I get that a lot, but I don't always get it in person anyway, because our clients are everywhere. And I was in New York City in, in January visiting with one of our clients, and I've never met them in person. And the first thing we did was this great big hug, where she was still thanking us for a hire we had, gosh, probably five years ago. So it's just, it feels great to have that success. Does this, during this time when everybody's at home, does that give you more access to, to great candidates than, than you would typically have? Absolutely. Um, we're having, I'd say we've almost like doubled our telephone screens and interviews because of COVID. With everyone working remotely, there's no pressure to have to go close the office door, sneak away during lunch to their car or out in the hallway to talk to us. So it's really easier to talk to folks just because they're home, they're available, work is pretty slow if they're even still working today. So it's really opened a lot of doors for us, which has been really nice. What do you see for the next six months to a year? I mean, I, as I watch the news, uh, everybody has different predictions on whether this is going to be a short uh, recession uh, followed by a kind of a re robust comeback or what do you see? I wish I had the crystal ball to predict the future. Um, fingers crossed. I'm really, really hoping that by the end of summer, 
things are more normal. Kids can go back to school, businesses reopen, I can go on vacation, <laughs> you know, all those things. So um, I think it's coming. And I, I think from a recruiting perspective, it is going to be insane because there are so many people not working and so many vacancies that when things turn around, we're going to be busy as are all talent acquisition folks out there. Absolutely. I, I've heard uh, horror stories over the last few years of uh, candidates ghosting uh, interviews and, and employers. Uh, I don't see that happening anytime soon. No, absolutely not. I mean, our, we're having our candidates connect with our clients almost instantly um, just because they want to learn more. They want to look into new things. It's a, it's a perfect time to, to consider it and to have those fun interviews. All right. Well, give everybody your website, uh, Lisa, so people can get in touch with you. Yeah, absolutely. It's www.thornnetwork.com. That's T-H-O-R-N-N-E-T-W-O-R-K.com. Outstanding. You've been a great guest. We'll have to have you back. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. You bet. That's it for now. We'll see you next time. Bye, Jeff.